Hey, it's Ronan Segal, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Kimafun 2.4 gig wireless in-ear monitor system. Um, Kimafun did send me this product to review. Um, I'm not being paid to review this product and Kimafun doesn't have influence over what I say. Uh, this is the first time that Kimafun will be watching the video just at the same time that you are. So, um, this is the wireless in your monitor system. What is this? When I make videos and I need to hear what I'm playing, I'm pressing my keyboard now, I can't hear what's happening. I can hear it through headphones, but I'm not using my speakers because when I'm recording, when I'm recording audio right now, if I was to play audio from speakers, um, that audio would feed back into the microphones. It would record itself, which would result in that high pitched feedback and it would record, it would result in a muddy kind of recording. So what's the solution? The solution is to monitor yourself using headphones. These are my traditional studio monitors. So I plug this into my mixer and then I have a cable leading to my headphones or wireless in your monitors. I put this here and then when I need to hear myself, I pop these in my ears and afterwards I could take them out. That's what it is. Um, let me show you how it works. I'll turn it on. I wanted to do this in one take just because. So I have a power button here. These are wireless. They charge via USB-C. So I turned it on. You could see the blinking blue light. And let me show you here. My camera's on. Um, this is my mixer. All of my microphones and inputs are going here. I have other electronics coming into this mixer. And this is the transmitter. The transmitter is coming out of the mixer's headphone plug. I have one going to the camera and one going to my headphones. You see that it's solid blue. When it turned blue, this also turns solid blue. What does that mean? Right now, I can hear myself and now I can hear the, oh, it was a drum. Now, all the sounds I can hear, everything that I'm saying, I can monitor, I can listen to in my headphones. Who is it for? That's what it is. Who it's for are whoever needs to monitor uh, audio wirelessly. So wireless adds convenience. What does it mean? If I'm a music maker, which I am, I need to move around. I want to go grab my guitar, my accordions on the floor. I don't need wires in the way. Um, if I'm a filmmaker, my camera audio, I want to listen to make sure that the track that's being recorded is clear. And what it means is I can move to another location. I could be out of the shot and I could still hear what's happening. And again, no wires required, just the transmitter into the mixer to the headphones, uh, to the in-ear monitors. The other real application is in a recording studio. The cool thing is this transmitter, one transmitter, can connect to multiple in-ear monitors. So the scenario is a band is recording or I'm playing with someone else. The one transmitter can broadcast that signal to multiple devices. So I can hear myself, the drummer has another one of these and the guitar player has another one of these too. We could be in separate booths, we could be in the same room, but whatever it is, all that the microphones are hearing are our instruments and we get to hear each other in the mix. That's who it's for. We spoke about what it is, who it's for, um, who it's for specifically, I would say. For me, it's great because if you've ever seen my live streams, I tend to get tangled up with headphones. I like to move around, I put on the accordion, I take it off, I reach over, I play the glockenspiel. I'll give you an example of what that looks like wirelessly. It's really nice, the, the convenience is nice to not have to think about wires. I wanna play guitar, I can stand up and play guitar and not be stuck to one place because of the limit of the headphone cord. Yeah, historically what's been the barrier to entry for wireless in your monitors, price, they've been very expensive. They're still very expensive 
systems other than the Kema Fund, speaking four five hundred dollars for a sure S H U R E in your wireless monitor system. Uh, these uh, I'll post links in the description that are non affiliate. I don't get any money if you buy them from my links. Um, these are about one hundred fifty U S dollars, depending if there's a promotion or not. Um, price has been prohibitive prohibitive latency latency is big latency means if you've ever seen a movie where the lips and the sound aren't synced that's an example of latency if i clap if i clap the sound is in my ear immediately so if i hit this drum it's as though i'm hitting a drum latency is introduced when i make a physical action and the sound takes too long to travel to my ear. That's historically been a problem with wireless devices, not so with the Kima Fund, so we're speaking about price, latency, and sound quality. This sounds great. The fit is great. And I, let's, let's turn to a real sound. The deep bass and the highs. Good. Um, they're both very, they're they're natural sounding. I can hear both of them. Again, this is not about sound quality being amazing, in which case you would use a thousand dollar headphone. This is to reproduce what I'm playing from my microphones and devices to my ears in, in the entire frequency. Great. Um, I was also thinking, why not use something like AirPods or Google Pixel Buds? Why not use wireless headphones? This is the reason. Wireless headphones, Bluetooth headphones, uh, work off of your phone. There's no transmitter. Your phone is the Bluetooth transmitter or the wireless transmitter. I'm not sure what frequency it's running over. With these headphones, they run off of that transmitter. So you can plug the transmitter into your cell phones headphone jack if you have one still and use these as wireless headphones for your phone i'm not sure if that's the ideal application you could do it may not be the ideal application this turns a device like a mixer or a camera that traditionally doesn't have wireless capability into something where you can monitor not just with one pair of headphones but multiple pairs of headphones Good. Uh, let me show you an example of the kind of uh, movement that I can get with wireless in your monitors. Let's make a loop. Um, let's record a loop. I have my loop pedal and let's do it. So I'll, I'll record. Let's come back to drums. Uh, j just while we're at it, I wanted to show you this awesome cord. So these are wireless. They charge. I've been using them for two weeks over multiple live streams every day. I record music every day. Um, they charge via USB. They have USB-C, and this is a really cool thing. I'm not sure if it can pick it up. One USB type A that goes into the wall, then connects to the transmitter and the receiver. So one into two. I thought that was really cool. Um, the spec sheet says you can get six hours of continuous audio for a two hour charge. I, I find that to be true. Great job. Um, let's do it. I'll record a loop. Yeah. That sounds cool. Let's add a banana. Good. Let's choose G major. Yeah. May not be in tune, so let me play the accordion. Moving around like this without being tied to a to, to a chord is really nice. Thank you. 
least I could move around my space. So you can tell why I don't play guitar very much on the live stream. Um, but again, that convenience of being able to move around while still hearing what's happening. I could be playing a YouTube video, a backing track, taking my accordion and playing it while still being able to monitor what's happening. Yeah, again, I'll share links in the description if you're interested in the product. Again, I'm non-affiliated. This is not an affiliate link. I'm not making any money you could choose to buy this or not. Um, again, Kim of Fun sent me this to review. Uh, I do get to keep this unit, so this is a paid advertisement. Um, yeah, totally, totally awesome. I get sent offers for lots of products, um, and I usually say no. Um, I said yes to this because this is something that's been bothering me when I do my loops. If you look back through my live streams, I've traditionally used my studio monitors. These have been sitting on my shelf because I have not pulled these out. The convenience of just popping these in, the battery's always charged and easy, and just being able to move and interact is awesome. Um, so thank you, Kim of Fun, for, sponsor for sponsoring this video. Not sponsoring this video, for sending me this review unit. Let me know if you have any questions. Kim of Fun is also really responsive. If you go to their uh, AliExpress page, they have support links too. Thank you. Bye-bye.